but the biggest factor really seems to be readiness to quit, which is something that strikes home to me. My, my father, um, my father was a heavy smoker. My father was a brilliant man. He was respected all over the world for what he did. He was in hydroelectric power. He was respected, you know, as the best at what he did on four continents. You know, he was, he was a really bright guy. Smart, lots of follow through, you know, knew how to weigh and measure things, deal with people, just, just a brilliant guy. Heavy smoker, couldn't quit smoking. Every time he quit, he'd get sick, he'd give it up, he'd stop. He didn't want to think about it, he didn't want to talk about it. He was part of a generation that didn't want to think about it or talk about it, you know. My father had a gigantic stroke when he was 52 years old. and was then partially paralyzed and disabled. And he lived like that for another seven years and then he died. He never quit smoking. He smoked right to the head. Tobacco killed him, took him off the face of the earth. And this was a man who exhibited extraordinary willpower with respect to other things, you know. Which really brings us to the fact that, that tobacco was a terribly, terribly addictive drug. If we treated it like a terribly, terribly addictive drug, it was a, capable of raising death rates, you know, so that they were as high for lifelong smokers as for all other causes for those people Fine. You know, if we treated it the way we treated other drugs, um, we would have a different outlook. As a society, we don't tend to see it that way. And the benefits of quitting are immense. You know, um, we used to think that cutting down was really great. Now studies show, embrace yourselves if you don't know this. If you're a heavy smoker, cutting down does almost nothing for you. It reduces your cancer death by a tiny bit. Doesn't reduce your rate of heart attacks or lung disease or overall mortality. The overall chance of dying is just as, as good if you, if you cut down as if you smoked, as if you kept smoking heavily. You know? People who never smoked heavily, just smoked a little, they do a little better. People who quit smoking reduce their rate of death over like a 15 year period by 35%. You know, their, their rate of, it goes way down. And after people have been quit for 10 or 15 years, their cancer risk goes back down to what it was at baseline as if they never smoked. You know? So this is really something, this is why doctors like to target this. It's why we, public health workers target this. We say this is a place where if we made the right efforts, we could really make a difference. You know? So I wish I could end this by saying we had some amazing new answer for this. But really the answer, if anybody has it, is the people that are here. I mean, we're here to pay homage to hear from some ex-smokers and present them with certificates. Um, <clears throat> this display, which is here today, which is so terrific, along with this, this empty this could be used slot there. This is going to be rotating in some form uh, to the other health centers. And I'm hoping we'll find a way to make it kind of a semi-permanent exhibit in some fashion because, you know, nothing is inspiring or has a way of starting conversations like people's individual stories. Um, so I, I find it just very touching. And I want to express my gratitude to the ex-smokers in this room because as, as a physician, it is so easy to forget. It's so easy to feel like it makes no difference because you counsel so many people and you try so hard. Most people just keep smoking. And when you meet people who really quit, who are really addicted to tobacco, who really quit and stay quit for years, you kind of, um, it just reminds us that all the efforts we make are worthwhile, you know, on behalf of the people that do quit and the lives that are safe. So um, 